Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to do a cartwheeling action pose. So if you have a pencil doll set, you'll do some framework. So this is the surface on which the person is going to do the cartwheel. We have done another video on cartwheel pose before, but from a slightly different angle. And this one is it's, it's very easy so what we have is we need that as the arm or in the hand that is balancing the body there's the shoulder set right there so essentially like that and then the body placed at that particular angle right till there and from there on we have the leg and we have another leg going this way and we'll do some different things with the hand once we put in the primary framework so let's say that the person was like uh, uh, shirtless the arm would be something like that so thumb little finger hint off the other finger hand going up outstretched bicep going into the shoulder right there and into the collar and there again into the collar into the delt from here on hint of the pec and that is just to highlight how the anatomy could assume different forms with the head we have different options so what we are going to do is the most natural one and if you do that oval like that there is the jaw and there is the throat so head raised up and seen from that angle so eyes all the way here nose right here mouth right here so it's very natural to look up in this kind of pose or look at the floor and then we stretch out we stretch out the, the tricep like that go and finish off the torso there's some pair of let's say gymnastic gymnast slacks so the legs now so the thigh the knee the shin and the calf and of course the foot so we are placing the foot like this for one angle and there's the leg and the other leg it's uh, just need to see if we have enough room here. So just adjust the picture a little bit so that we can fit the leg right up there. So we have the leg going right up again, shin, knee, and foot. And of course the placement will change with what we want to reflect. So there's the arm stretched out. And usually we have that. So again, the palm of the hand, hint of the fingers showing like that. So that is one of the most natural and very popular assumed poses but we can do some different things with this as well so for instance we could bring the legs closer and all that takes is just a little change in the placement of the of the structure the the, the key frame so all we have to do is that and we have uh, also pretty much a realistic cartwheel but we could also show and we've done this in another cartwheel video because it's important to uh, touch upon this aspect as well that we could also have the legs go right back so the knee ending here and then Coming back like that, 
this leg can pretty much remain where it is except that we end up the knee here and we go there and there's the legs bent back or more realistically and more dynamic we bring the leg here let's say one leg is here if the heel is out or if the foot is drooping it's going to go somewhat like that and we have to move the apparatus in that case and that other foot will be of course placed like it's behind the body will be that way as well folded behind or we could have the other foot going sort of like that and do some foreshortening this hand of course we could just have both hands stretching right out and if we keep the frame in that angle then we would have to have this hand not flat but kind of like that so it's maybe beginning to assume the position of landing so a few different options there that we can play around with while doing a cartwheel pose and we will just highlight the frame that we initially went with and see if we can remove some confusion there with all those different colored lines and the head looking up like that so that is our choice of dynamic cartwheel so it can be used in so many different aspects it could be a spider-man hanging upside uh, sorry if we just flip this hanging off the wall dodging bullets or it could be just a gymnast so we do put out content pretty much every day so please uh, subscribe and keep in touch until uh, the next video have yourself a wonderful day